maybe I will just sit here and fucking do nothing and just drop a bunch of swear words. <sighs> There's just so many thoughts. So many thoughts. So it's June 23rd, 2021. It's 1026 AM. I am currently in New York, Long Island City to be exact. And I thought that I would make a video since a goal of mine this month has been to make art. And this video is a, is a part of what I'm doing. So also, I guess kind of like an update as to what I have been doing. I was, while I was prepping for this video, I was just, I had looked on my YouTube channel to see when's the last time I had published a video, which was March, which then I went through my phone to see when did I actually record that video and it was January so it's been six months since I recorded anything three months since I've posted anything and I feel like I've grown so much <laughs> since in this amount of time I I mean I'm in New York I guess here in June 2021 the pandemic is ending. People are vaccinated. We're allowed to be in each other's presence without masks to some extent. I mean, the gym that I go to, does. Uh, we're still wearing masks there. I feel like I'm coming out of the tail end of it. And I realized that I had been drinking a lot. Drinking a lot of alcohol and doing drugs, smoking weed, eating weed gummies, doing mushrooms, eating mushroom chocolate. And it's cool, it's fun, but I guess I would rather be here than there, for sure. And this, I think, was prevalent before the pandemic happened. I would be reaching for the beer or the alcohol whenever there was an opportunity. I mean, in my mind, it seems like that was a sign. But at the time, I, I thought it was very innocent it's just like why not and i guess there were also some warning signs of like when i would drink these emotions would come up and it would take the people around me off guard especially my partner because i guess a lot of anger and frustration was directed towards him so there have been some sufferings within me that I was not addressing, that I did not realize was manifesting. So if I didn't know that there was a problem, how could I deal with it? And even if I did know that it was a problem, I felt like I sometimes didn't want to deal with it. I didn't know how. I felt like I couldn't have an honest conversation. I, I, it didn't even occur to me that I needed to have a conversation. I think something that I've learned is that I need time to myself. I need to be alone. So right now, I guess I'm also developing a relationship with myself so that I don't lose touch with what's going on. I guess I've been kind of severed from my well-being. I don't I I didn't really ask myself how I was doing. And looking back, I can see like that things were not going well. It was just a lot to think about. It was a lot to think about, but the thing I did not think about was my mental health. How I was feeling 
and I also didn't take breaks. And it's weird to think that I just wasn't aware. I was not giving myself time to just rest and be. I think that for the last how many ever years, four years, I guess, since first moving to LA and trying to pursue filmmaking full time, I had a lot of energy and as I was disconnecting or I had disconnected with my well-being, I was trying to continue on the filmmaking path, but I think my mind was also working it's against itself. Something that I had been so motivated to do, I just didn't want to do anymore. I would get very, I guess I feel kind of like angry about it. It's like, one part of my mind will tell myself, oh, I should be doing this. And another part will be like, I don't want to. I don't, I don't want to. I don't care. I don't care. I'm not going to do it. And I feel a little lost. I feel like I don't, I, if I can't make myself do something that I think is good for me, then well, what's going to happen? And I think during these times, I kind of, this is the break that I'm talking about where it's like, I just need to give myself some compassion. I need to forgive myself. I need to not be so hard on myself or not being 100% the go-getter. I'm just gonna fucking chill. If I can stay alive and happy in this moment, today, tomorrow, whatever, I think I have done a pretty good job. So there's just so many thoughts, <laughs> so many thoughts. And I guess kind of just like hitting rock bottom. I hope that there won't be a more bottom than this. <laughs> I already feel like this is pretty shitty. And I feel like a way that I can prevent something worse from happening is mindfulness. After I guess feeling so bad, I was trying to find a way out of suffering and the way that I find helps me is to seek refuge in meditation retreats, which is what I ended up doing. I went to the Plum Village website, um, Deer Park, to see if there were retreats going on. I signed up and I just kept signing up, so I must have done four, four retreats at least, and a handful of online days of mindfulness later, going to Sangha meetings. I've had many opportunities to sit and meditate, to breathe, to recognize my breathing, to have a schedule that allows me to live simply and to accept myself. So that's how I am trying to live mindfully every day. I am also on a path of healing. I feel like something traumatic has happened to me a couple months ago. And it's kind of just like the last straw, I guess. I, I know that I've been engaging in very destructive behaviors, acting mindlessly. And now I'm kind of trying to recover from that. I'm trying to recover from feeling hurt, betrayed. I guess my mind has been attacking itself. My relationships, it's been a lot. And I'm just recovering, I'm healing, I'm choosing joy. So really just whatever Whatever makes me happy is, is what I'm going to choose. And I will not take part in self-degradation, putting myself down. I have a lot of things to be thankful for and I will live in the moment. <laughs> Last but not least, I'm also choosing compassion compassion. So I'm really just like forgiving. I'm trying to forgive myself. I feel like I've made a lot of bad decisions 
that are hurtful to others and I am trying to every day just forgive myself for making mistakes and for hurting people and with that I am learning feeling guilty and knowing that I did something wrong and taking that feeling and telling myself that this is wrong and in the future I will not act in such a way but I guess that also means that I need to reflect so it's an ongoing process so that's it it's June 23rd tomorrow will be June 24th and it will be the beginning of the third to last month of my 20s I guess this video is for me. This is me from the past watching it in the future. Hoping that you will be in a better place than where I am now. And if you're not, then just know that I have also been in a worse place and I'm better now. So if you're in a worse place than now, it will get better. And I love you. This video is also for people in the future. Watching this after it is published, I hope that everybody that I love who is watching this video will be happy and well and love yourself like I love you. For the people who are neutral that I may or may not know, you should reach out to me. Or just, I hope that you are happy as well. And to the people who it's a little difficult for me to love and forgive, and it has been difficult, I feel like I'm in a better place now than I was even like a couple weeks ago. I hope that you are happy and well. Because I feel like people who are happy and well will not hurt others, will not hurt themselves. And it goes for me. If I'm happy and well, I will not hurt others. And I will not hurt myself. It's loud out here. I like close the window. But of course I can still hear what's going on outside. There's just so much going on outside. Guess this is it. Let's get to editing this video. <sighs> ah.